So, following leg eight of the Moors Millions qualifiers is leg nine. So, a slightly longer, another three miles and six furlongs in our last race here from Fakenham. Before we move over to Ireland for the last couple of races of day two. So, our runners here are Solo Blank for Craig Allen, Our Ben for David Hooley, Cozy Breeder for David Robertson, Sours Beauty for David Hooley, Bella Chaffal for James Shea, Dictate Ross for Martin Leadham, along with Pleeing Lookie. Come all ye faithful for Paul Rhodes and Jameer Cottage for Thomas Rogers. Just makes up nine. Let's go over this three miles and six furlongs. The last race from Fakenham. The rain stopped. We are racing. So we wait for him to settle. It's come all ye faithful. Take up the lead. So we approach the first of the 50. Fences they'll have to take here. It's come on, you faithful. The roads leads into the first ditch. All over it, slow jump by our top weight there. Solo blank. Still on his feet. So it is come on, you faithful. But about five lengths, well, three lengths of bunch, should I say, leading into the second. It's a little bit slow over that. Really poor jump at the real best. Sal's beauty. Puts himself uh, a couple of lengths back. Plenty of racing to be had here. So plenty of time to get back into it. So it's come all ye faithful. It's by about three. So all the forces. Now Ben, Jimmy, a cottage, playing lucky. Solo blanks in there. Dictate loss. And just a length and a half away from Cozy Breed of the ground against the fence. And followed through by Sal's Beauty and Bella Cheval. So through the first half mile. It's come all ye faithful. It still leads us by about three now. Solo Blank and now Ben up against the fence. That's how that is playing lucky. Dictate Boss the Grey. Why the all of those is Junior Cottage. We'll change here. So we get to the next, which is the third. Leaders over it. Poor jump this time by David, who is our Ben. Shuffles back. Fortunately, impedes Cozy Breeder a little bit there. The winning post. It's commonly faithful that leads us by about three to Solo Blank. And plain lucky. Grey dictate Ross and Jimmy Cottage on his outside. And just a length or so away from our Ben. Bella Cheval sounds beauty. Grey cozy breeder at the rear. So it's come on ye faithful. Still. Oh, and he's gone! Got into that. He went up a little bit early there, the leader. Come on, you faithful. The mistake was had. There's a fall up. It's down one. That's left. Plain lucky. Up front with Solo Blank on his inside. They're taking a hold. And we've got Jimmy at Cottage and Dictate Ross, the first of the Greys. We get to the fifth. We'll get over that a little bit better. Jimmy at Cottage was a little bit slow. So they're much closer all done out. There's only probably five lengths between first and last. And we're being led by Plain lucky. Solo Blank on his inside, and the great Dictate Ross, and we'll go over the six. Stepping over it at the rear was Al Ben. Plain Lucky, still leading them. I'm up against the fence, Solo Blank. Or Blanc. Keeps taking a keen hold. He's carrying top weight here. And the Dictate Ross, the grey. Minds to avoid Jimmy at Cottage at the moment. Up front. Slow the races today. And it's still solo blank that leads us. Swapped over now because Dictate Ross has taken it up. So it's Dictate Ross from now. Ben, playing lucky, shifting back against the fences solo blank as they go to the eight. So there, over half the fences are dumb. It's a little slow old pace here. Two miles still to go. It's Dictate Ross from our Ben. Playing lucky a little bit wider. And the other grey cosy breeder moving through well now. Outside of that is Sal's Beauty. And we've got Jameer Cottage. Going back here. We're going to ride on board. Which is quite rare. We better shove out. As we approach the grandstand. You can see in the distance. And we'll go uphill here. Just on his inside is I think that's Jameer Cottage. See, the grey dictate Ross is leaving us. So 
notes dictate Ross from our Ben in second, Coastal Breeder is third, Plain Lucky is fourth, the other side of that is Sal's Beauty, New York Bella, Cheval and Jamia Cottage. And then just at the rear is Solo Blank, we are up against the fence, they're quite a calm ride round. Carrying top weight though here. We go over the ninth, everybody's over it, again stepping over it was Sal's Beauty. The horse has normal, don't jump particularly well, but they finish well. As they stay on their feet, it's with a mile and a half to go. And it's Dictate Ross that leads us, the first of the Martin leading horses. It's from our Ben and Cozy Breeder up against the fence. I don't know anything could win this from here. It's one of the reluctant leaders. The only one we've lost is Come All Ye Faithful. So it's Dictate Ross leads them uphill here. From wider Jamia Cottage up against the fence's Cozy Breeder. Two purple silks, black caps of our Ben and Sal's Beauty as they go over the tent. Oh, we've lost one. It's Sal's Beauty that's gone this time. Stake there. Let's see if it is right up. Quickly enough. And ben for the Hooli Stables is still in the race. So this Dictate Ross that still leads from our Ben Jameer Cottage and Cozy Breeder up against the fence to go the 11th. Big slow jump at the rear by Solo Blank. Widest of always playing Lucky. Approach the next, which is the 12th, which is four from home. To take Ross Steady's coming into it. So now Bella Cheval coming up, and then we'll go over it. We we'll jumped on the rear by Solo Blank. So, with just two and a half lengths between the whole pack inside the final mile now, let's dictate Ross. From now, Ben on his outside, alongside Jimmy at Cottage. Wider still is Bella Cheval. One is for plain lucky up against the fence, mate. I'm looking for a bit of room now is Cozy Breeder and we've still got the top weight solo blank so as they swing left handed now and we'll be lining up for the jump so they go back up here a little bit it's our Ben that just noses in front from Dictate Ross up against the fence between those is Cozy Breeder out wide the green silks of Bella Cheval and Jamia Cottage they'll get over that one the one that's a little bit slow is playing lucky but being held on so as we come down with five furlongs to go it's our Ben being joined by Bella Cheval up against the fences Dictate Ross they go over the 40 oh we've lost Cozy Breeder's there unseated his jockey lucky to David Robertson so it's Dictate Ross knows he's back in front he's got the fence to help from Bella Cheval Jamia Cottage and our Ben Looking for room behind his solo blank. Plain Lucky's got caught for toe here. So inside the final half mile, it's Bella Cheval. Our Ben dictate Ross up against the fence, pushing through Jamir Cottage. The top weight solo blank, the loose in sight of Plain Lucky. So up front, it's our Ben that's going to lead them inside the three furlongs. They come down to the last. Bella Cheval and our Ben, the inside. Dictate Ross outside Jamia Cottage. Solo Blank still trying to run on. Two and a half furlongs to go and one to jump. It's our Ben and Bella Cheval. Dictate Ross on the inside. One starting to give way now is Jamia Cottage. Running on well is Solo Blank, but it's our Ben that noses in front inside the two. Our Ben from Bella Cheval. Dictate Ross is still up against the fence and running on. Solo Blank trying to make up the ground to get over the last. We're all a little bit slow over that, and it's still our Ben. Dictate Ross on the inside. Bella Cheval. Solo Blank wide. Inside the final furlong, our Ben. Waiting for the post to come as they go up here, and it's our Ben from Dictate Ross on the inside. Bella Cheval, Solo Blank, going to give it one more last lunge, and it's our Ben. Here comes Solo Blank, our Ben, our Ben. The post has just come in time for our Ben from running on well. Solo Blank, I think Dictate Ross got out third. Fourth was Bella Cheval. So I went there for David Hooley. Well done. Qualifies for the Moors Millions. Along with Craig Allen's Solo Blank and James Shea's Bella Cheval just nosing out Dictate Ross for Martin Leadham. He jumped well, but didn't win. And Jameer Cottage for Thomas Rogers was fifth. Let's move over to Ireland.